Good morning, everyone. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Tell your friends, um, share this with somebody. Good morning. Good morning to the family. Good morning, everyone. Oh my God, sorry, I'm four minutes late or so. I had to sort out some things. Make one and all vex for me. Do not be offended. Where we were gonna read through Acts chapter 24 this morning. Acts chapter 24 this morning. Neko was rioting. Justice for first service people. And <laughs> send Guys, 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 let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Acts chapter 24. My precious daughter Luchi is here. Acts chapter number 24. People, that shirt is mine. You can have it. What you can have it, you can have can have the brand new one, new size. Um, I can give you I could send it to you. No problem, you have it. <laughs> Sunday morning was beautiful. Second service. The truth is that reminded me of my childhood. So I was like a child, like it was that um What's that feeling again? It's nostalgia feeling. It was beautiful. Guys, let's do this. Acts 24. It's just a regular story. Would you see something out of it too? And then we'll pray. Papa, you had a, I had a great time on Sunday, Fati. I grew up in with that song. That was a uh uh. For she just leave me alone. That was my have you seen my childhood? Was it Dr. Panam? And did you enjoy uh, Minister Tommy Favored? I th thought that was awesome too. Sunday morning took me all the way back to my mom's car going to church. <laughs> Ruthie, <laughs> ah, that was yeah, that's so beautiful. Beautiful. Glory to God. Glory to God. Atilola. Atilola Lua. Atilola Lua. You guys, join, join, get your friends to join. We're studying Acts chapter 24 this morning. Let's quickly make a... Did you see the video we posted on our page this morning? Please share the video. Talk to somebody about it. Good morning, my able and amazing daddy, father, and boss. Oh, wow, all of this. God bless you. Um, people are continuing with the second service, Ojuru. I'm watching you. No, don't. It's not like that, Vanessa. Oh, don't say it like that. First service is the special, close to my heart service. First service people are special and they're close to my heart. Service is the fast track bread of life service. Fantastic service. Like I preferred first service message to second service message. I'm serious. It's, it was very good. It's very good. Let's make our declarations and they will do Acts chapter 24. Stacy, now don't do this now. Stacy, don't do this. Stacy, I see a lot happen. <laughs> Second service. <laughs> Stacy, don't do this. Stacy, don't do this. Stacy, be a child of God this morning. Okay. First service, I promise you, I have a surprise for you on Sunday. First service, I have a surprise for you on Sunday. No jokes. First service, I have a surprise for you on Sunday that will not be our second service. So let's end this problem. First service, this Sunday, I have a surprise for you that will not be our second service. Yeah, I have a surprise for you that will not be our second service. I'm serious. Don't worry. First service, do not be your first. I have a surprise for you. First service. That won't be at um, second service. Um, it, it will bless you. Pastor Taiwo, nice to meet you, sir. Ebon, nice to meet you. Um, 
It's going to be powerful. It's going to be powerful. We are with the surprise. I'm telling you this Sunday, first service people, trust me, I have a big surprise for you this first service that will not be a second service that I can balance the equation. The surprise is that the service will end on time. No, the service always ends on time. You see, you can't say that. We've never extended first service to after 10. First service always closes before 10. First service always closes before 10, to be honest. There are people who have been marking with that uh, we just passed 10 o'clock and I know them. First service always closes before 10. So that cannot be so that cannot be a surprise. This one people are saying surprise of first service that will not be as uh, I'm serious. There will be surprise of first service this Sunday that will not be at the second service. And I won't tell you the surprise. Just to appease my special first service people. Lolo Bemi, I have not seen Bemi in a long time. Oh, she says she traveled. Seen before my birthday, I didn't even did I even get a better shout out from Bemi? I've not seen Bemi for a while, amen. Very true. Bread of life service always closes before 10. Yes, thank you, Joe. We, we're on time, people. Glory to God. Let's make a, I'll be in church. Yeah, I'll be in church. You should be in church. This Sunday is going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Let's make our declarations. Let me find that thing and pin it down. Please post the video on the page, on the logic page, on my page too. KNO Jesus, KNO God. NO Jesus, NO God. So you can know God outside of Christ is a no. Oh, you didn't get that. Oh, love it, love it, love it. You can know God outside of Christ. That's just a no. It's 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 a no trying to know God outside of Christ. It brings you to a no. Okay, we have it here. Not around, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you around today? Yeah, I'm in the office today. I'm in the office today. I think I'm in the office from, from, from about 11 to 5, 6. 11 to 5, 6. I'm wiser than Solomon. Imagine. That's it. Now let's make our declaration and then we'll go straight to Acts chapter number 24 and we'll read from verse 1 to 27. Very short story and then we'll come back and pray. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest. Let me see if I missed anybody. Joanna, please get me to pray with you before you jack by her. Um, Chema Adelike, just checking if I missed anybody's remark. Flow. Mm, no, now brown sauce don't do like it. <laughs> oh, see, I've told you guys, Sha, this Sunday morning, first service is going to have a surprise. The second service will not have. Take it or leave it. That's the truth. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find something to do. Hey, what will I not find that? Okay, I'll find it. Okay, let's make our declaration and then we'll go straight to Acts chapter 24. Glory to God in the highest. One, two, three, go. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. All my sins are forgiven. I am passionately loved by God. I am powerfully helped by God. I am kept and protected by God. I enjoy angelic assistance. I am irrevocably blessed. I am eternally forgiven. I am the healed of the Lord. I enjoy divine health. I have the favor and the wisdom of God. I am fruitful. I flourish, excel, and prosper in all that I do. Nothing is against me. Nothing dies in my hands. I am never stranded. All things are working together for my good. God loves me more than the devil hates me. Grace is is working for me shout glory let's let's go to acts chapter number 24 acts chapter number 24 we begin reading father thank you for your word today malamba tiga bando skumba la melebre stivia tabaro sti from an amp punuski vrepe penundi paparaski je protonski prehenta lava beboroski venia papasi zoko topo ene vidiatasis grope neandi la zisus prati kivene mendiski sha protoski vrene mendiski pretoski branti veke di the baskis brana moski mbre entkuski vrenama do not be worried about the relocation the disconnection there's somebody going through a disconnection um the this like 
for the for the for the for the Holy Ghost is saying to tell you is a redirection. You you think it, it was a disconnection to where you wanted to be, but God is saying it is redirection, dislocation, a disconnection, and the rejection is just redirection. Says the Spirit of the Lord. I don't know whose word is that. I don't know whose word is that. It says to tell you the dislocation, the disconnection, the rejection is just redirection it is redirection for you if that is your word say amen in the name of jesus to another one god is saying you're going to walk in your purpose with ease you're going to come into your purpose with ease you're going to come into your purpose with ease with ease will you come into your purpose says the spirit of the lord with ease will you come into your purpose i hear it again the dislocation the disconnection the rejection is just divine redirection is divine redirection rejoice 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 all your sins are forgiven rejoice for he has made you glad rejoice for god has come rejoice 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 says the spirit of the lord may perform that Parathesis, Nemronum di Capasis, Vrebete, Ziclohoscum, Vayana, Mepolka, Shepherd de Veliatas, the disappointment, the dislocation, the, the rejection, the disconnection. God is saying it is just divine redirection. It is just divine redirection. He's redirecting things for you and redirecting things for you and redirecting you for the things that he has placed in stuff inside of you for he has great purpose within you great purpose within you and the purposes of god will speak it will speak for your life it will speak for your life do not feel stranded you are not stranded you are not off course this is the divine route that's what i hear god say this is divine route and it is taking you to your place in destiny says the spirit of the lord my god is taking you to your place in destiny says the spirit of the lord the reject the redirection the rejection the refusal the redirection, the rejection, the refusal, the redirection, rejection, and refusal. It is just re, the, the, the rejection, is the, the refusal, the frustration is just divine redirection to where God is taking you to the purposes of God for your life will speak. It will speak with ease. 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 For at the right time without struggle, everything will begin to align. Everything is going to come come together is going to align is going to align is going to align says the spirit of the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus mm, gotta read the scripture gotta read the scripture i just feel like an avalanche of, of the anointing of god's presence strong right now like a, like a channel i feel like the channel and the spirit is opened up um and for you and this is for you is for you who is for you is for you you're not forgotten do not feel rejected you're just in the waiting room waiting for your appointment and when it comes you will know that this is divine orchestration and you know this is your time this is your season and he would release grace upon you you're taking center stage the world is watching you says the spirit of the lord you are taking center stage and the world is watching you you're taking center stage the world is watching you for they're going to watch, watch what i'm about to do through your life and they'll bring glory out of your story because of the message of the gospel says the spirit of the lord amen i believe that was my word amen acts chapter 24 acts chapter 24 thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whew, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kaba Yebonon Tiga Ya Shepratasis. Zaktabokosh Kebranambi Poposki Bazeto Pene Viatasis. Jekebara Stifratoski Vranami Menzi Vrahasi. Saktopong and Diabanus. Verebediasko. The gang up of the enemy is aborted. The plot of the wicked one is destroyed. Their plans and their orchestrations will not come to pass. It will not stand, neither will it come to pass, says the Spirit of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Acts 24. Let's run through this. We're already, already out of time. Glory to God. Glory to God. Acts chapter 24. Find your Bible now. After five days, Ananias, the high priest, came down with the elders to and a certain orator named 
tattooers. These give evidence to the governor against Paul. Hold up a minute. Somebody's taking my daughter to school without me praying. Hold up. I'll be back in less than two minutes. So, so. Sorry guys, so um so now after five days and the last the high priest came down with the elders and a certain orator named Tattoo Laws, these gave evidence to the governor against Paul, and when he was called upon, Tatulos began his accusation, saying, saying that through you we enjoy great peace and prosperity is being brought to the nation by your foresight. We accept it always and in all places. Most noble Felix, with all thankfulness. He's toasting the, the, the yoga. Nonetheless, not to be tedious to you any further, I beg you to hear by your courtesy a few words from us. For we have found this man a plague, a creator of dissension among all the Jews throughout the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarene. This was the leader of the Boko Haram. He's now becoming a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarene. Who's the Nazarene? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's what they're referring to, the uh, sect of the Nazarene. He even tried to profane the temple. And we seized him and wanted to judge him according to our law. But the commander, Lysias, came by and with great violence took him out of our hands commanding the accusers to come to you by examining him yourself you may ascertain all these things of which we accuse him and the jews also assented maintaining that these were so that these things were so verse 10 then paul after the governor had nodded to him to speak answered so paul got the nod of the approver a nod of the governor to speak answered inasmuch as i know that you have been for many years a judge of this nation i do the more cheerfully answer for myself because you may ascertain that it is no more than 12 days since i went up to jerusalem to worship and they never found me in the temple disputing with anyone or inciting the crowd either in the synagogue or in the city nor can they prove the things which they have they now accuse me but this i confess to you that according to the way which they call a sect so i worship the god of my fathers believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets i hope i have hope in god which they themselves also accept that there will be a resurrection from the dead both of the just and the unjust and being so i myself always strive to have a conscience without offense towards god and men now after many years i came to bring arms and offerings to my nation in the midst of which some Jews from Asia found me purified in the temple, neither with mob nor with tumult. They ought to have been here before you to object if they had anything to say against me. Or else, let those who are here themselves say if they found any wrongdoing in me while I stood before the council, or less it is for this one statement which I cried out, standing amongst them, concerning the resurrection of the dead, I am being judged by you this day. So Paul's offense was Paul was preaching the gospel. What was the gospel? He died, was buried, and 
he was emphasizing resurrection from the dead. The Jews didn't want people to know about that for so many reasons. They were going to hide the fact that Jesus resurrected. So that's the only problem they had against Paul. Verse 22, we are almost done. But when Felix heard these things, having more accurate knowledge of the way, he adjourned the proceedings and said, when Lysia, the commander, comes down, I will make a decision on your case. So he commanded the centurion to keep Paul and to let him have liberty and told him not to forbid any of his friends to provide or to visit him. So Paul was kept in prison, but was not bound in chains. That's what it means. Centurion um, to keep Paul and not to let him have liberty. That means they didn't release him and told him not to forbid any of his friends to provide for or visit him. Uh, get his friends to visit him, um, but he's, he's kept in, co in custody, for lack of a better word. After some days, when Felix came with his wife, Drusilla, who was Jewish, he sent for Paul and heard him concerning the faith in Christ. So you see, again, Paul preached the faith which is in Christ. Faith which is in Christ. If it's my Bible version, it will be faith which is in Christ alone. And those of you who come to church you know that's how we call it. Faith which is in Christ alone. Now, as he reasoned about righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come, Felix was afraid and answered, go away for now. When I, have, when I have a convenient time, I will call you. So, I want to read verse 5 again. So, as he reasoned, as he reasoned about righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come, Felix was afraid and answered, go away for now, <clears throat> for I have, when I have a convenient time, I will call you. So that would have sown the seed in, in Felix. That he said, you know what? Leave. This thing is too deep. And I, I get that all the time when I preach it. Beef low weight first is too deep. 26. Meanwhile, he also hoped that money would be given him by Paul that he might release him. Therefore, he sent for him more often and conversed with him. What was Philip looking for? Philip was looking for... Meanwhile, he also hoped that money will be given him by Paul that he might release him. Therefore, he sent for him more often and conversed with him. But after two years, Portius Festus succeeded Felix and Felix, wanting to do the Jews a favor, left Paul bound. You see, bribery and corruption. They thought Paul was going to bribe his way out. He was looking for a gunje. So let's see verse 26 and 27. Let's interrogate it in another tra in other translations. Glory. <coughs> Glory to God. That's two verses. He expected to receive bribe from Paul. It's clear. For his release. So that... So for that reason, he would send for Paul from time to time to converse with him. So he was looking for bribe from Paul. So you see it in scripture. Paul refused to give Felix a bribe and suffered for that. Two years later, Felix was succeeded by Portius Festus. Before he left office, he decided to leave Paul in prison as a political favor to the Jews. But can you see how Paul's imprisonment, what do you think Paul was doing for two years in prison? Your guess is as good as mine. What do you think Paul was doing for two years in prison? The years Paul spent in prison. What do you think Paul was doing? For the periodism, Paul was writing. Don't waste your prison experience. Don't waste your prison experience. He was in pain. What, uh, Paul, what, what Paul was saying. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's not what I was doing. He was looking for a gunje. Bobo. You say what again? That Jesus. 
I beg, I beg, I beg. Bring, bring something for me. Paul was not getting the message. I said, I'll go I said, I'll hear you today. I'm market now. Paul no answer. Okay. Let me read the message translation. So, message translation 24 to 27. A few days later, Felix and his wife, Drusilla, who was Jewish, sent for Paul and listened to him talk about a life of believing in Jesus Christ. As Paul continued to insist on the right relationship with God and his people about life of moral discipline and coming to judgment, Felix felt things getting a little too close for comfort and dismissed him. So Felix actually got the prompting that, ah, this guy is saying something beautiful, but quickly dismissed him. That's enough for today. I will call you back when it's convenient. At the same time, he was secretly hoping that Paul would offer him a substantial bribe. So Paul stayed in prison because he did not bribe. No big today, even the Bible. Yeah. He was feeling the anointing, no, Fatty, no doubt. So when Paul was speaking, he was, but he did not want anointing, he wanted bribe. In the same way, <laughs> Uh, how do I say this without getting into trouble? People come to the logic church, eh? And truth for they, they feel the anointing. They know that this is the gospel. But that's not what they are looking for. They are looking for something else. So they are not able to stay. Because, no. Felix was feeling it. He knew. But he wanted bribe. These conversations were repeated frequently. After two years of this, after two years of this, Felix was replaced by Porcius Festus, still playing up to the Jews and ignoring justice. Felix left Paul in prison. Are you seeing it? So they come to church sometimes, and then why they can tell that, ah, this, this is this is serious. What this guy is saying, this is this is the gospel. They why they know, but. Ah, they want something else. I read 24 to 26, 27 in the New Living Translation, then we we'll pray and close. They can tell. They, they, they sense it. That no more leave that boy is anointed. They hear the gospel, but the reason they can't stay is that they're looking for the theatrics. Two whole years. No, that's reject he was rejecting the gospel, of course. He was looking for a gunje money. And Paul was writing. They are convinced though, but they will suppress it. Thank you very much, isn't it? They are convinced though, but they will suppress it. They will, they will, they will. Ah, so when they see before you, ah, speed flow. Not true, but they'll go back to their old church. They'll go back because they can't stay. Somebody, you are here, I'm talking to you. That's why you're not a full member of the logic church because you are convinced to but I hold dickiness for there now. I am the assistant director of something there now. So they value their position. Yes. So they come, they hear the gospel. The reason they, they can tell, they'll be fighting it. Let me read from verse 24. New Living Translation and they will close. Manual override. Yes. People don't default to better. They default to familiar. Think about what I just said. People don't default to better. They default to familiar. If I tell you now, let's go to a restaurant. You're going to go to your familiar restaurant. You're not likely to choose a better restaurant than your familiar you are going to go straight to family. People always default. So let me help sisters and brothers. When you are marrying a man or a woman, find out their default setting. Because something will happen in your marriage that will push them to their default setting. Let me say it again. No. When you are marrying a man or a woman, find out their default setting. Because people default to family. They don't default to better. Find out their default setting. 
So he can be coming to church with you and he's oh the way make a oh, miracle every hey, oh my god, but his default setting is still one baba. So by the time there is a problem at home, he's going to default to let's call this man. Because people don't default to better, they default to familiar. People don't default to better, they default to familiar. Find out his default setting can still be Jesus plus something. When things get uncomfortable, things are not working for them. What do they do? Who do they run to? Who do they speak with? That's their default setting. So are they going to just go on their knees and say, Father, please, you know we don't have any other God in our family. We need you to come for us. Father, help me. Or they just say, ah, I know what to do now. Let me call Egbon. Let me call this person. People don't default to better. They default to familiar. When you are getting married to anybody, find out he's familiar because he's always going to default to familiar. If every time he's stressed, he's going to pick a stick. That's his familiar. If every time she's stressed, she stressed, she wants to finish one bottle of Azu. That's so that is how they they default to help. In the same way, people default, they enter bush straight. Once it is not comfortable for them anymore, straight. Please, please. Me people flow with first. Me I call me call 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 them. Eh? Call on Kumi, call this person for me. People always default to familiar. They don't default to better. So check your default setting. Check your husband's default setting. Who you are getting married, find their default setting. If their default setting is always, there's one, there's one, this thing, there's one guy. It's not, I mean, it's not, it's just leaves, it's herbs. It's herbs. It's just something that he would just mix and use it to rub the body. Everything. Come on. Ah, your own, you, you, your own is too much. Your own is too much. Please, I think you are an extremist. I mean, there's God everywhere. That's their default setting that they are showing you, uncle. Auntie, that's their default setting. If it's called Baba, that is their default setting because life will give you some blows, some punches in this life. It will hit you. Stress and pressure reveals your familiar. You would just say, oh, your wife is in labor. The baby is not coming out. Hey, oh, you, because in that in that rush, you, you just want to do anything to get out of the problem. And once you are desperate, desperation reveals to you your default setting. Because you're going to do everything to come out of it. Life will blow, give you that blow. Yes, you would have that heat. And when that heat shows up, are you going to run to the cross, the finished walk? Or are you going to cross the road? Oh, we enter. When that blow comes, are you going to run to the cross, which is your default setting, the finished walk? You died for me. You love me. Or are you going to cross the road? If you start crossing the road, you are showing us your default setting. If you stay at the cross, you are saying, the cross is enough for me. The cross cancels everything. Hmm. Are you going to come to the cross or you're going to crossroad? Let me read it 24 to 27. Can you imagine how revelation comes from just a regular story? from the scriptures because once you put Jesus into the picture you see clearly how many of you got that Solomon's bewilderment on Sunday this is so good people thank you so much isn't it is the default setting going to get you back to the cross or you are going to cross road say I am daddy wait first let me just let me see uncle bros here and come back when you get the dreams, oh my God, my house, my house have just dreamed, my mommy dreamed, death is coming. 
No, no, no. Let's cross road. Are you going to cross road? Verse 24. Thank you very much, Princess Ray. People, you teach so good. Thank you so much. People, how do you get to excavate all this within the lines of the scriptures? Road don't close, oh. You not get where they go again at the cross, oh. The cross would be a... a how if you got that message Sunday morning, Solomon's bewilderment? I'm still stuck on Solomon's bewilderment. So good, Solomon. Beautiful. 24 to 27 of Acts chapter 24 and then we'll close. A few days later, Felix came back with his wife. Felix came back with his wife. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about that. Felix came back with his wife. <laughs> You're going to just, just ignore that part that Felix came back with his wife. Who was Jewish? Send him for Paul. They listened. He told them about faith in Christ Jesus. As he reasoned with them upon righteousness, self-control, and the coming day of judgment, Felix became frightened. There was conviction right there. There was conviction right there. Go away for now, he replied. When, it was, when it's more convenient, I will call you again. People hear this gospel. There is a conviction within them. But guess what? They go back. People, I was overwhelmed. I cried and laughed too much. They go back again. Go away for now, he replied. When it is more convenient, I will call you again. He also hoped that Paul would bribe him. So he sent for him quite often and talked with him. You say, Drusilla, come and hear what this guy is talking about you. After two years went by. In this way, Felix was succeeded by Pocius Festus. And because Felix wanted to gain favor with the Jewish people, he left Paul in prison. There's something that jumped on my spirit just now, but hmm. leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Flourish. Leave it. Flourish. Leave it. Flourish. Leave it. They've had enough for today. Flourish. Leave it. Flourish. Leave it. Flourish. Leave it. Hmm. Glory to God. Glory. It's not talk it. I'm sure his wife was convinced, but she couldn't convince her. Ah, see. No. Ah, wow, that's so powerful. You all don't see these things, man. Every time he sent for Paul, expecting a bribe, it was an opportunity for Paul to preach. So that greed that the devil had inside of him was a bait for him to hear the gospel but he kept refusing it well if you if you didn't get that it's fine the second one is really deep the second one is really deep the second one is really deep he locked paul in prison trying to do the Jews a favor, not knowing he was doing us a favor. <laughs> he locked Paul in prison, trying to do the Jews a favor, not knowing he was doing us a favor because he was in prison that Paul wrote the epistles. What the enemy meant for evil. God knows how to turn it around for good. God knows how to turn it around for good. He was doing the Jews a favor in his 
blockhead, but you cannot outsmart God. He, what he didn't see coming was he kept Paul, he gave Paul two years to write. So Paul kept writing to the churches from prison. All of that arrest was part of the divine plan. God was trying to separate Paul for the documentation of the New Testament. I'm done. But the blockhead man thought he was doing the Jews a favor. It was in that place that Paul I don't know what mess you think you are. God knows how to bring a message out of your mess. You see why I don't take Vanessa, you have said something just on that. You have triggered something. Idam, I hope you're here. Jim Jones, I hope you're here. Isn't it? You, you see, you see why, isn't it? You, know, you see why I don't play with the gospel? Is what Vanessa just mentioned. Paul suffered in prison to document this revelation of the gospel. Think I'm now. So it didn't come out of cruise. He so Paul didn't the, the Jesus died, paid the price. Paul now documented this thing in prison. His spirit was full of joy. So it, they didn't do this thing that we are doing conveniently. We now have the luxury of a different generation, the liberty to preach, and we can't preach it right. They should flog us. They should flog us. No, 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 they should flog us. No, 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 no. They should, see, they should flog us. The man who by the special grace of God, documented the body of the gospel, Apostle Paul, didn't do it having fun. He was not in Beverly Hills, California, or in Dubai, or that swimming pool that uh, the beefing uh, Mecca and the wife for. They just went to the pool and they were chilling like this inside the pool, and they would not be telling somebody right. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Please, no, 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 no. Make it mojito. Who has blessed you? Write it down. No, that's not how they wrote the gospel. That's not how they wrote the gospel. It's not cheap. It's free. So this is why I don't really understand why you and I should be messing with the gospel. Why we can't give for the gospel. Why we can't sponsor this message? It's not cheap. It's free. Paul's suffering was on auto. It was not an infinity pool. Oh, voice recorder. You guys, as I was just finishing my lamb chops this morning with um, side of fries and um, a mash um, something here. Spirit of God just whispered them. Um, Baba was in prison. It was dark sometimes, but he was writing. So these blockhead thoughts, they locked Paul in prison to please the Jews. You think, say, you day wise. God said, thank you very much. Because every time... Every time the devil wants to kill you, he isolates you. That's why it's, not, it's important that you come to church and you're not missing in the assembly of the brethren. Listen to me. Whatever you are, isn't it whether you're in, 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 in London, join the London church group, watch online, be connected. Because every time the devil wants to kill the believer, he isolates you. Every time the devil wants to destroy, he isolates you. Every time God, God wants to prepare, he separates you. Isolation is different from separation. What Paul encountered in prison was he was able to discern his pain and called it separation. Separation. I hope with these few words of mine, having able to convince you and not confuse you, you should take this gospel matter seriously. 
and take this preaching of the gospel seriously and take this sponsoring of the gospel on our head. Isolation is different from separation. When God wants to prepare you, he separates you to himself. When the devil wants to destroy you, he isolates you. Isolation is not separation. Separation is you're separated to someone. Isolation, you're all by yourself. I think this is really, this is really, this is really so one of the things I teach you every Sunday, every, every morning is actually Sunday service in some people's churches. You have Sunday morning. I preach every day. I preach every day. Someone asks me, how many messages do you preach per week? I say, man, six. I preach every day. Just keep preaching and teaching the word of God. I love you all. Grace and peace be multiplied to you. We're encouraging people to give towards the lease of the place. And we're believing God to buy our land and get our tent in, have our own facility. So we need, God has said to me, there's somebody with my $2 million. You drop it. That money is coming in the name of Jesus. But people, people always make it look as if you are crazy when you carry arm for head. Uh -uh. They should, oh, hold on a minute. You guys don't leave. Until they look at you crazy, Idam, you're not carrying this gospel on your head. You're not doing it right. They must look at you crazy. That's when you know that, yes, you started doing this gospel. Somebody must tell you, ah, you don't demand. Do. See what you they give to church. See what you they do for the gospel. Until you get to that point, ah, you have not started. You, that's actually the, the, what's that thing again? The indicator. That the hand you have started doing until you get to the point where they are telling you that um, he bless you, you don't decrease you. People thought Paul was mad now. Somebody even said too much, too much reading has made Paul mad. Peter says some things Paul are saying, Paul is saying, I can't understand though. So until they think you are it's not until they think you are cute about it, you are not ready. Cute, no, no. The little more steps, thank you. There's somebody with my two, I'll be shouting it. There's somebody with my two million dollars. There's somebody with my two, I'll be saying it. For our land, for the project of the church, there's somebody with my two million dollars. If not three. You give it in two, three installments. No, I'm serious. There's somebody with my two, three million dollars. I am calling that money to you. And when he gets to you, quickly bring it to church. It will come. Do you see what you do? do you, talking about going mad, should I get into trouble? Let me. Don't you see? There's a particular church where the adding the billionaires in the church will be wearing all those Lasma. What's that thing that they used to wear? Lasma jacket. Um, road safety jacket. As they are, the wait to their businesses, they are wearing it to anywhere they are going to. That's religion. It's making them go mad. And you can't be crazy about this gospel that you have. The gospel is not cheap. The gospel is free. If religion makes people mad, trust me, let's take this gospel to the nations of the earth in the name of Jesus. How do you do it? Give towards it. Let's sponsor this right message. You keep complaining. You're not preaching this thing where... This one, you have the one that is... They wear reflective jackets. There's a church. Re same human... Supposedly same human being. When I tell you that the church you go to determines your mental health and your mental state, you put in complain. The church you attend determines your mental state. I know a man who... He was traveling. He forgot his, his, his reflecting jacket. He went back to wear it before he, he went to the village because the, the, his God is in that reflective jacket. The United Testimonies, I put the jacket upon my gas for four years. I have not bought gas. Are you? Uh, come on. Listen to me. You need to talk to yourself. I will sponsor this gospel. I will preach this gospel. I love you all. I've said too much today. I have um, a busy day ahead of me, but I just love you people. I love you people. I'll see you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. I'll see you tomorrow evening in church, 6 p.m. I'll see you Thursday morning, 9 a.m. I'll see you Thursday on the mainland. Minister Tommy Favor will be on the mainland on Thursday. 
And then on Friday morning, you'll see me. Saturday, six hours of prayers. Six hours prayers on Saturday. It will bless you. Then Sunday morning, whew, two services. I love you all. Have a flourishing um, um, weekend, uh, week ahead of you. In Jesus' name, see you tomorrow morning. Blessings, blessings.